What Jim Crow laws are, are laws that are separating races, treating races differently. The most common examples of this would be requiring white and black people uh, to ride on different rail cars, to ride on different street cars, to sit in different sections of a public space. Jim Crow laws have been around in this country for a long time. You can find them in northern states in the early 1800s. In the South, when there are these efforts to, of resistance by the white against black, they go to an obvious place, which is laws to segregate. Now, during slavery days, you didn't need these laws uh, because there was slavery. In places where there were large populations of free blacks, places like Charleston, South Carolina, New Orleans, you did sometimes find uh, these segregation laws. But the real proliferation in the South comes after slavery. And it's a way to not just segregate the races, but leave the mark of inferiority on black people. Now, one could say, why is that? Because after all, the line here was always that segregated facilities, whether they be schools, trains, whatever, are equal facilities. It's not that we're denying access to these things to the former slave. They have access. We're simply separating them. But in reality, everyone could see, everyone knew that the black streetcars were dirtier, dingier, that the schools, especially for African Americans, were much poorer, less well-staffed, had fewer school days. So it was not hard at all to see that this was unequal. But the myth could be maintained of equality. And so while some, many, would say that segregation is just perfectly a natural way to go, separation, it's not about inequality, it's not about a return to slavery. For African Americans, it was absolutely a continuation of slavery, a badge of slavery.